Okay, first thing you need to do is get the Elder Scrolls construction set for Oblivion. Open it. Then, File, Data, pick the Oblivion Master File. Then, okay. Now it's going to lay. Okay, now that it's done loading, we have our object window, our render window, and our cell viewing window. The cell viewing window is the one that shows you every single area in Oblivion. The object window is all the objects and items and, well, everything but the land. Now first, we're going to go to a place called the Abandoned Mine because it's just that simple. Now, if you press the A button on the keyboard, it will light up the cell so that you can see. And by pressing the middle mouse button down and holding it, you can move all the way around the cell window. If you hold shift and move the mouse while in the window, it will your angle. Now, this message comes up on my computer. I'm not sure if it comes up on anyone else's. I just put yes to all, and it's all good. Now, if you select a uh, object in the window with the left mouse button, and hold the shift again, it will angle it around the object. Now, let's say we want to move the barrel over here. We'll left click it, then we'll hold her down, and we can move it. Now, if we want it to go upwards, we'll hold Z. It'll go up and down, only on the X axis, I think. Whatever axis that is. Now, let's say we leave it up in the air want it to go all the way down to the ground. Just click F while it's selected and it will hit the nearest mesh to, to blow it. And now let's say we go way out here for some reason. You can press C and it'll center your selected object. And by rolling the middle mouse button back and forth. You can zoom in and out. <coughs> now let's say we want a random huge barrel right at the entrance. We'll move it there. Hold S and move the mouse button upwards towards the top of the screen. And there we have a huge barrel. Now by doing this we can change the sizes of objects. Um, chests and people, monsters, weapons, etc. But with the weapons, when you go to change the size of them, it will only change the size of the weapon while it's on the ground. If you pick it up and equip it to your character, it will go back to the normal mesh size. Now, I select all this stuff. By pressing D, I can deselect it. And select something, press T, gets to the top of whatever object you've selected. Now, if you want to delete the object, you can press backspace, no, delete, it'll delete the item. And backspace 
is, I guess, undo. Yeah. So this is episode one of many on how to mod Oblivion.